this is just a little clip of Anna and I riding down to the ferry across the Columbia River uh, after lunch one day on her day off. Had a lot of fun that day riding uh, around Washington and over into Oregon. It's always great to spend some time with her on the bike and on her day off. So uh, we'll just put in a couple of pictures here and move on to the next clip. So before I begin my talks, I like to ask where everybody's from. So I know these guys are from Bend. Got some New Yorkers, some really cool junior Rangers right here. All right. Texas. Where else? Texas? What part? Oh, a um, few places. A <laughs> few places? Okay, I'll take that. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Vegas. Awesome. I was Vegas. just there not too long ago. Oh. Houston? Houston? Okay. I drove two hours. Dallas, Oregon. It was Dallas, Oregon? Oregon. Yeah, totally. Can anybody beat that? Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. That's pretty. Yeah, that's. The, oh, might have gosh, I was gonna say Dothan, Alabama. Mm. Dothan, Alabama. Yeah, she beat you. Well, I, I might beat you all in case we have foreign countries. Although Tampa, Florida, probably. Germany. 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 All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no matter how far you came, welcome to Johnston Ridge Observatory. People from all over the globe come here every day to see what happened here 37 years ago. A lot of people don't know much about Mount St. Helens other than it blew its top. Well, today I'm gonna to tell you about what makes Mount St. Helens so unique. And it's not just the story of the eruption, but the story of the people who actually lived through it and witnessed it. Well, now these yellow is what you were talking about. Um, I'm not sure if it's this. It might be youngsters. A lot of these are dandelion. Yeah. If I can find like a mature spot to remind you of it, so yeah. Okay. 